Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Baconator and I'm going to show you how to edit like Markiplier and the big boys today. Let's do it. Two things you're going to need. One, you're going to need OBS Studio and you're going to need whatever editing software you're comfortable with. I like Premiere Pro, so that's what we'll be using today. Uh, the reason I chose Markiplier specifically is because he has a beautiful way of recording both his face cam footage and his gameplay footage in one instance of OBS at the same time with one click of a button. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very convenient, very good. Uh, so let's get down to it. Go to the settings in your OBS window, go to video, and then what you're going to do is you're going to click directly into the box of base canvas resolution. You're not going to go to the arrow to select what you need to do. You're going to go straight to the box and you're going to type in 3840 by 1080 for both base and output resolution. Why do you say? Because you're basically taking two 1920 by 1080 signals, putting them side by side and recording them at the same time, not overlaid with each other. All right, so go ahead and put 3840 by 1080 in both of those boxes. Click OK or apply, OK, whatever you want. Go back to this. Once you're done, you're going to have a big, long black box, uh, kind of like mine is, but with no video in it. You're going to put your sources in there. So take up half with one source, one with you know half your face cam. And then the other half is going to be whatever uh, you're recording. So gameplay, you're typically going to use game capture for this. Um, but I'm using left display so I can show you my left display and put that on the other half. So they should be side by side, just like I have mine. And once you have your gameplay recorded, whatever is recorded exactly like this, uh, you're gonna move over to your editing software. And I already have a test clip, so I'm gonna move over there real quick. Here we are, and we're gonna start a new project. We're gonna go test footage, or whatever, whatever you're trying to do. Name it whatever um, scary let's play cam video number one. Uh, for example, you're going to go ahead and import that into your timeline. So mine's 10 seconds, so mine's not going to take that long. Pause the video here if you need to, if you're following along. So once you import it into your timeline, you're going to have one video. All right, you're going to move it up to the video two, and then you're going to right click, copy that, and then you're going to paste it. Okay, so now you have two side by side right next to each other. 1080p or a 3840 by 1080p uh, video feeds and it's just it's going to look just like this how it does in this monitor right here um, so you're going to need to change it to a 1920 by 1080 so the way to do that is you go up to sequence go up to sequence settings and then you're going to change this to 1920 by 1080 that's exactly what you need nothing more nothing less bam and now it's going to look like it's cut off so what you do from here is you go to your effects library and I have presets already built out, so I'm going to use those. But just for an example, you're going to look up crop and you're going to be cropping this stuff. So you're going to drag that crop over to whatever video feed you're going to do. I am going to do video uh, my face cam first. So I'm going to take the top video because that's the one that's going to be in front of the gameplay. So I'm going to do that one first. I'm going to take this face cam crop out local uh, preset that I already have. Bam, put it right on there. And I'm also going to do the same cropping uh, drag over your crop to the video game footage. So I'm going to do the gameplay crop out since I already have that. Bow. So now they're cropped. I'm going to take the face cam footage and I'm just going to move it to wherever I want, you know, whatever size I want. You're going to play with the scale here, up here in the effect controls. Uh, I already have a preset built out for that as well. So I'm going to take my face cam placement, put it right up there, and it's going to do automatic for me. And the way to do that is you're going to go up here to your effects tab. I like that at 475. I'll have to change that. Uh, you're going to go right up here to this and you're going to save preset. Name it whatever you want. Uh, whatever goes in the description is going to pop up when you hover over it. So take this face cam crop out local, for example. I have a 9% left crop, 50% right crop, and a negative 25 feather to give it kind of that uh, nice soft edge around my face cam. I like that. It makes it look nice. Um, so you're going to do that. And if you want to save that, just like I said, you're going to go right here, save preset. And you're going to do the same for the crop. So you're going to come down here to the crop. You're going to save preset. And then uh, I strongly suggest you save whatever left crop, right crop, or feather you do in the description. So when you do hover over it, again, it gives you that nice little menu telling you what it does. 
So once you have that done, save it to your presets and you'll never have to set them again. Um, go down to your gameplay footage and you're just gonna, this, this one's really easy. You just drag it over until you don't see black stuff on either side. So for me, that's at zero and 540. Once your footage looks like this on the 1920 by 1080 scale, you're pretty much done. I'm gonna go one extra step and show you something nice that I personally do to my videos to make my voice sound a little bit better. So this is just a little bit extra bonus on the side. Um, I'm, I'm actually done with the recording part of it, the editing part of it. Now I'm just gonna show you a nice little extra step uh, for the audio. So you're gonna go uh, right up here to your audio track mixer. If you don't have that, you're gonna go up to window and you're gonna go ahead and put uh, audio track mixer right here and get that onto your effects panel or your, your editing panel up here. Uh, you're gonna hit this arrow right here and then whatever line you have your voice on. So I have mine on uh, line two. I'm gonna go up here to audio two. I'm gonna go to amplitude and compression and the multiband compressor. So the multiband compressor is something that I learned about a long time ago that helped every single one of my videos sound and be much, much nicer to listen to. Uh, basically what it does is it takes your highs and it takes your lows and evens them out, right? So there's no cutoffs at the highs and there's no really low points where it gets really quiet. It evens those out nice for you and uh, it has the added effect of making your voice sound a little bit nicer too. So I'll, I'll show you what that sounds like here in a bit. So you're gonna press that, you're gonna go click, double, double click it to so go into the menu. And then you're just gonna, the only thing I change is the margin. So I like to put this around three. Uh, that what's, that's what works for me. So I put that around three. And that's really all I do to mine. So I'm gonna show you the difference that that does. I'm gonna show you both differences. So now let's go over it. This is the original, Hello. by the way. This is a test video mm -hmm. to show you how to edit like Markiplier. Just needed this to be like 10 seconds. Cool. So it sounds all right, right? It's just my, my raw uh, microphone. Um, now with a multiband compressor added to it, it sounds much nicer. Let's hear that. Hello, this is a test video to show you how to edit like Markiplier. Just needed this to be like 10 seconds. Cool. But that's the end of the tutorial for right now. My name is Baconator. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Ask me questions if you need to. I'll definitely help you any way I can. Subscribe to my channel if you love me. And I will see you on the next episode, Bacon Bits. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Okay, bye.